Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to a layout for um, the scrap, which is kind of just a bonus layout using the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage, Spring Garden. Um, playing with that today. I had started playing with this for um, the Freaky Fest formula for this month, and I started by, I really love the florals on this paper. I can't remember what it's called right now, sorry. And the back size is beautiful honeycomb. So I thought how pretty would it be to fussy cut those florals out and just put on a piece of white cardstock that came in the kit and then have the bi a big circle. So I started with the Freaky Fast one, so it was an eight inch circle. So I cut out an eight inch circle after I fussy cut all the florals out. And so then I had this honeycomb on the back and I had the perfect photo picked out. And then as I was doing this, I remembered that the Freaky Fast formula then had four three and a half by three and a half squares. And then after I kind of arranged this, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to fit those squares in anywhere. Um, this is not gonna work. So I pivoted and I did the um, layout you saw yesterday. And so today I am showing you what I ended up creating with the fussy cut florals and the eight inch kind of partial circle of the honeycomb background. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and did that instead, um, but just on a different layout. So I did the Freak Fest formula, that was yesterday, and now here I am doing this today. So I cut out what I could, um, making that a uh, eight inch circle. And I thought it would cut, tuck perfectly into behind the florals. Um, and I thought I would do something fun in the background of the, um, on the white cardstock, which is a swig for swig floral. Oh my God. Fig swirl. I think so, but I can't remember off the top of my head, but I really, 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 really liked these florals and then I got a floral that kind of had I liked the these and so I had mentioned in the video yesterday that I thought you know when you started looking at some of these papers you could really make two separate layouts they almost look like two separate collections because there was all these pinks and blues and greens and very doily lace um driven kind of vintagey the vintagey side whereas this paper I didn't think so. The flowers look vintagey, but after I've separated them and then the honeycomb on the other side to me is not vintagey at all. It has a distressed look, like a vintage distressed look, but it didn't look doily lacy or anything like that. So I do bring in some elements that kind of make it doily lacy, but um, I am so fussy cutting that whole floral out. I'm only doing part of it, so I'm only going down so far because I one, I'm kind of lazy and I didn't want to take the time to do all, like, every little detail of every flower. Because then, too, it wouldn't give me a nice base. Um, but I just wanted the shapes of the edges of the flowers to kind of be poking out. So, as I do that, um, I'm also thinking how I'm going to tuck the um, honeycomb circle in behind. And then I'm thinking about my photo. So I have a scrap left over too of the beautiful like plaid background that the floral side was on. Um, so I'm going to be able to map my photo on that, which works great. And then I will get to play with a bunch of the embellishments that came with this. Um, and on the sticker sheet, the added embellishments and the added um, that stuff. And I will basically uh, use up everything that was in the original kit and then, and then, then some. So we got a couple um, fake brads. They're the brads with the metal and they're sticky back. They're not real brads. Um, so I use up those. I use up some more foam hearts that I got. Uh, chipboard or foam. Is this foam? That's chipboard piece floral yeah I use up a bunch of stuff so I am matting my photo we're going to mat my photo yep matting my photo and then I will start kind of figuring out what I want to do for this background so I'm going to take this white piece of cardstock and um, I am just trimming off the branding strip I end up trimming it down even more later because I decide to put kind of a frame around it. And actually, cause I made a boo-boo, um, because I, my floral is cut 12 inches and then I cut down my paper without realizing that 
my floral is 12 inches, so it's going to over... Yeah, it was a huge mess in my brain, and I can't remember um, what I did wrong, but I ended up fixing it by finding a dark, dark green cardstock um, in my stash that I end up matting the whole thing on. And it worked out really well. Oh, when I glued my florals down, I glued them um, like really off center for some reason. Yeah, I don't remember. So here I am with some that one strip I actually used with the Freaky Fest formula yesterday. So I'm trying to make this work. So this is me still trying to figure out what I want to do for the Freaky Fest formula uh, before I decide to ditch it all together. But I equally like how both layouts turn out. To me, though, they look like they could be from two completely different collections, almost just because of the color scheme. There was no blue on this paper whatsoever, and I really wanted to use the blue. So if you haven't seen that video, I will have it show up right here, so you can click and see that video um, for the scrap room that I posted yesterday. But here I am bringing in um, papers from the paper add-on, and kind of looking at what there is and then the embellishment add-on I'm kind of going to look what what there is for that too and see okay what can I do with this because this is not working I thought I still thought I could make the free fast formula solution happen and I, I couldn't so I'm like yep this is going to be just be a completely different page so this is my pivot so I'm going to take some Picket Fence Studios, beautiful, like, golden, sparkly, yellow, um, like, texture paste. I can't remember what it's called. And I am going to, oh, yeah, I do futz with this and how it's going to get arranged for a bit. Um, but I am going to put through a stencil um, and actually a, it's like a chicken wire fence stencil, but it matches honeycomb. Same, same. Um, I'm going to put that through that. And I love the way that looks. It gives, it's the go same golden yellow. It's sparkly. It gives a little bit of texture to the background. I kind of wish I would have put it a couple more places, but it works. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to have it so that it just kind of peeks out from behind my giant circle. It's going to peek out on the left. It's going to peek out on the upper left a little bit. And then I'm going to do a little bit on the top. And then you'll get to see a little um, glimpse of, yeah, I don't remember exactly what I did, did I, but I screwed something up. I think I started trimming down the green that I wanted to frame wrong. Or I don't, like, Again, I don't remember how I screwed it up, but I do know I ended up fixing it and it worked out fine. Um, so I decided that I needed a little bit of a border and the green needed to happen. And so I, and I really like the way that turns out. It kind of anchors it quite well. Um, so I frame that all except for the bottom because then the bottom is going to be, I think I trimmed it too short was the issue or I found out it was too short. It had been trimmed in the past and I didn't realize or something to that effect, I think. Um, but it's fine because I will have my florals kind of go all the way across. So it's not like the border is, the border is really only on three sides. And that works out quite well for me. So I'm going to glue the florals and my big circle and everything down now. And we are playing with the fun little embellishments that all come with the kit. I'm going to end up using up pretty much, I think, everything that came in the original kit. And I do dip into some of the add-ons and add a few items. But I got some gorgeous florals. And I had fussy cut um, two yellow butterflies. Two, I think? Yeah. Two yellow butterflies um, from the butterfly paper on during yesterday's layout and then I ended up having two yellow butterflies also or maybe three maybe only fussy cut one and I had three or something I have I end up having four on this whole page oh yeah I did get the sticker sheet too so I did dip into that so I end up scattering some butterflies around the rest of the brads um some adorable phrases I end up using this one sticker that is a big cluster of um, a doily and some florals and some butterflies and so I just kind of scatter all those things around but I have this adorable photo of my niece um, we went to the Omaha Zoo last year and they have this awesome awesome park area in the center of the zoo pretty much where it's a great place for people with young kids um, and it's like 
interactive like there's a stream you can actually go swim in and play in and a waterfall and then there's like a giant tree house and then there's fun things like this giant butterfly um, cocoon that you can sit in it's a swing so I have this cute picture of her and so that's why I chose to do all the butterflies and yes I know the honeycomb and the um, bee things have nothing to do with butterflies but insects outside and it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous color yellow so I do finish off the layout off camera with some splatters of some fresh or picked raspberry um, distress oxide. I did add those to my previous layout for her yesterday as well. And again, that was linked earlier in the video and you can just go check out my channel. I hope that you like and subscribe. That always helps everybody out and um, make sure you're checking out the scrap room and all it has to offer. The kit this month is gorgeous. There's so many great collections, two simple stories, ones, um, an Echo Park one. If you like to document uh, St. Patrick's Day. There's a really cute layout or really cute collection from for that. And if you don't, the collection or the kit has tons of fun patterns that you don't necessarily need to document St. Patrick's Day. And you'll see that in a layout um, later this month from me. Um, I do not document St. Patrick's Day. We don't do anything specific for it, but I show you a way that you can kind of play with that. Here's the sticker sheet. That is the embellishment add-on part of the kit this month. So you always get flavors of the month kit for mini collections. And then you can always, there's a pattern paper add-on, which I highly recommend. It just makes your kit stretch farther. You get two pieces of pattern paper from those collections for each of the four little mini collections that are in the flavors of the month kit. And then the embellishment add-on is always another set of embellishments. And then I always get the card um, or not the card add-on. I really should get the card add-on. That one's only quarterly, but, um, I get the pocket pages, um, kit. And that is always ends up being a few little bits from each of the collections from the flavors of the month as well. So then it just kind of stretches and gives you a little bit more of everything. I like all, all the things. So I grab all the things usually, but I'm just going to finish, um, embellishing and kind of scattering those things around. And then I'll add those splatters at the end. And I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.